Hello everybody, it is me and I am back with another Space Flight Simulator video and today I will be launching a Soyuz spacecraft to land on the surface of the moon. This was based off the Apollo Gemini program that was first introduced in the 1960s. Yeah, it's uh, it was to land a Gemini capsule on the moon, but it never happened because... I'm guessing by then they built the Saturn V and stuff and they were like, you know what, we're not gonna waste more resources on, you know, modifying the Gemini capsule, so let's just build an entire, you know, new system to land. And that's how we got the lunar lander. I'm, I'm guessing that's what happened, I'm not really sure. I'm not that of an expert with history and stuff. But we already jettisoned the boosters and almost everything in the in the in in the rocket staging thing, and we just entered low Earth orbit. You might see that the uh, third stage has landing legs on it. Well, that's for uh, something else later in the video, which I won't spoil. But it's really cool and efficient. I mean, I don't know if it's efficient. It, it's probably the opposite of efficient, but. I mean, hey, it looks cool, so... Yeah. And right here I had to do this weird Apollo maneuver just to turn on the RCS thrusters for the um, the third stage because they they shut down as soon as I separate the, um, the Soyuz from it. Also, I kind of did that to uh, push the Soyuz a little further. So I didn't have to do the burn with... Um, with the three main engines on the Soyuz spacecraft. And there it goes, the Soyuz third stage. And yeah, <laughs> you see just checking the fuel, I'm like, oh my God, do I, do I have enough fuel? But yeah, I do. And coming up and entering lunar orbit here. These long pauses mean that I that I ran out of things to talk about. Well, there there's still a few things going on on screen, so I guess I could talk about that. Turning off the cheats because I didn't want to re-enter the atmosphere with cheats on. And there we go, reusable Soyuz third stage. So yeah, this is really cool. Uh, although it kind of you know brought down the efficiency of the rocket, and I had can kind of had to like I don't know like reduce the mass of the payload by a little to accommodate for the heat shield the landing legs the parachutes and all that but I'm, i think it worked out well in the end because i mean at least you get a bit of money back after the launch happened because yeah there we go the parachutes and yeah uh there go the landing legs as well i think right no <laughs> wait oh yeah <laughs> I, it, the the sound thing, the thing I'm using to record is blocking half of the video, so I can't really tell when something's happening. And we just faded across to the deorbit burn. So we're now coming down to land on the moon. Let's just pretend on this Soyuz is um, Alexei Leonov, even though he would probably be dead by now. But is Alexei Leonov dead? I, I think he is dead. I think he died back in 2019. Uh, I don't know. Guys, can you fact check this in the comments, please? <laughs> well, I know Yuri Gagarin died during like a um, Soyuz test thing, uh, a, a, a pilot thing in 1966. They were protecting him so much. It's kind of ironic because they, they didn't they didn't want him to go to space ever again because they were protecting him like so much because, oh yeah, he was this prized um, trophy for the Soviet Union. And, oh yeah, this landed on the moon there. But what's funny is that he 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 died because they they couldn't they wouldn't let him like go out into space or like go basically anywhere. So they they secured him like 24/7, I think, and like he basically died in a plane crash during like a test for like the um Soviet army or something. So yeah, that's kind of irony right there. And yeah, <laughs> I kind of waffled waffled I, I i guess that's how matt does it so i don't know i kind of talked over the entire landing sequence there setting my transfer orbit to to go back home now 
and firing the engines to, you know, go home. <laughs> And I don't like my periapsis whenever it actually intercepts the Earth, taking all the fuel from the rest of the modules, and turning off the cheats again! I kept enabling and disabling the cheats in this, um, in this playthrough because, yeah, I kind of needed the cheats for, uh, the engines that were on the rocket that were kind of, like, clipped on. So, yeah, oof, kind of, the orbital module kind of killed, well, not killed me, kind of, um, just booped me there, and... I mean, it's fine. It didn't really damage anything, so... Yeah, that's cool. Entering the atmosphere at, like... 6... 6,000 degrees Celsius. I don't know how the heat shield survived this. I didn't have cheats on, but somehow the heat shield survived. Maybe there's, like, a higher heat tolerance for certain heat shields. I don't know. But all of them say, like, they can withstand up to 6,000 degrees Celsius. I want to keep saying Fahrenheit, but... You know, it's Celsius. Deploy the parachute there. You might have noticed that the um, capsule has little landing thrusters on it. I kind of like those a little early, but I mean, at least they work. And just any moment now, I'm about to jettison the heat shield. Just waiting. Oh, <laughs> turns out I already had. Okay, so this is really funny because I landed in America, so... Yeah. Anyway, the video's done already, so yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe, share it with your friends, and yeah, goodbye. <laughs>